Developing a wild scene in Hunting Park as gunmen start shooting right in the middle of Broad Street. So we want to get to Shayna Ferreira, who's live with more details. Shayna. Well, good morning. A wild scene. Of course, it's cleared since midnight when this all unfolded. But I want you to take a walk with me because you could actually see where some of these bullet holes struck cars on the way to Jerome Avenue. This one coming through the trunk here. If you keep going before we get to the video of where it all unfolded, you could see just how wild this whole thing was. People's cars were just kind of idly parked here when these when the whole gunfire broke out. And it goes all the way down Jerome uh, Avenue here. If you keep walking, you could still see just how far it extends to even this car. Are breaking, breaking the window all the way through the back of this person's windshield. So certainly a chaotic night. We'll send you to the video that was shot when it all unfolded sometime around midnight, according to investigators. Now, when police arrived, they actually found a 37-year-old man who was shot twice in the leg. He was taken to Temple and is listed in stable condition at this time, but also important to know when he was shot, according to police, he was taken to uh, before he was taken to the hospital. He was actually found at the Walgreens about a block away. So this whole crime scene extends uh, pretty far. At least four parked cars were hit with gunfire as well. About 26 shell casings were recovered. Police also say about 20 people were inside of a club 151. It's right on Broad Street, right across from where those bullets were first fired. An actual bullet went through the steel door. Police say at least 20 people were inside. We're talking employees. We're talking DJs and bartenders. No one was hit, luckily. But this is what Chief Inspector Spall had to, Small had to say about the investigation. Take a listen. Based on ballistic evidence, we found 26 spent shell casings in the 4200 block of Broad Street and also at the intersection of Broad and Jerome Streets. Clearly, two separate caliber weapons were fired. Several of the spent shell casings appear to be from a rifle, the rifle rounds because they're much longer, and the other spent shell casings appear to come from a semi-automatic handgun. And you can see just how pretty big, if you're wondering why it's so big, Chief Inspector Small explained why. It's because it was coming from a rifle more than likely. So at least 26 shell casings were covered here. There's even chalk still remaining across from Club 151. Just to give you a sense of just how much investigators had to kind of do to expand the perimeter of this investigation. The good thing is all of it was caught on camera when an SUV happened to pull up right here where I'm standing on Jerome Avenue when two people got out and began shooting. It was caught on camera. The good thing is as many shell casings that were recovered, only one person was hit and they're in stable condition this morning. Guys. <laughs> Wild scene indeed. All right. Well, police say